the government. It loves you and wants to keep you safe and well. It even wants to make paying taxes, fines, and court costs easier for you. How? Well, you'll need to meet your straw man. He was born the same day you were. He looks like you, has the same name, and lives in your house, but you never knew he existed. You will have even paid his parking tickets or taxes. The worst part? He's been dead from day one. From every birth certificate, a legal personality, or legal fiction, is created with the same name to confuse little old you into thinking it's you. So, there is a human you and a paper you, or as it's commonly known, a straw man. So when it seems like government officials, court clerks, or the police are speaking English, they aren't. They're speaking legalese, designed to make you agree to verbal and written contracts without even knowing about it, all spun from Black's Law Dictionary. For example, when the police say, do you understand, you'll say, yes. What they are really saying is, do you stand under our authority? Oops-a-daisy, you just created a verbal contract with them. Oh, you clever government. Did you know that whenever you register something, you are handing over title to the person you register it with? That's right! Whenever you register something with the government, they assume it belongs to them. Registered your car? Super! Now you are the registered keeper of your vehicle, and the government can crush it when you don't pay your, ahem, <clears throat> straw man's taxes. Expecting a new bundle of joy? Well then, you need to register your little darling with a birth certificate. Then they can start the process all over again and create a new straw man for your little one. Isn't that great? So when Junior grows up, he'll be able to generate revenue just like you have. When you notify on your baby by signing the birth certificate, your child becomes a ward of state. And if the government doesn't like what you're doing, they'll assume it's okay to take the child away or make new rules for things they don't like. Not enough school? Smacking your child? Shouting too loudly? Then it's off to social services for the little one. When you get a bill, it's sent to you but belongs to your straw man, not you. That's why bills, fines, and summons start with Mr., Mrs., or Ms. Sometimes you'll see your surname in capitals, just like on a gravestone. That's because your straw man is dead and just a silly piece of paper, created before you could comprehend or even consent to it. When you go to court, you represent your straw man. So you, the human, take on any costs, fees, taxes, and fines involved for the straw man. The human you doesn't even need to pay them. But you made a contract with the court by appearing on behalf of your legal personality or straw man. Just like the government knew you would. Confused? <laughs> well, don't worry. The government doesn't want you to know anyway. If you knew, you'd stop paying things like council tax and parking tickets. Because when you go to court, you are representing your straw man. You are you, alive and made of flesh and blood. Your straw man, or legal personality, is a piece of paper created from your birth certificate. And you think it's you. What a silly Billy. Would you like to know more? Well then go over to tpuc.org. Get up, get informed, and get real. Thank you.